My friends, Yossi here, coming to you live from Alexandra Park at Bathurst and Dundas. All right, so today we'll go for a walk. It's such a beautiful fall day, absolutely gorgeous. And I want to look at that. I want to talk to you about how to make the leap, how to become a real investor and actually squeeze the opportunity out that so many other people look at that, so other people miss. Okay, so we'll follow the we'll follow the footsteps here and get to the story so it goes like this throughout my history as an investor which was way before i was an agent um, and the reason i became an agent is because i was a better investor than the agents that were showing me properties and i already had the construction background from home so just a natural step for me going to the business world and working in real estate which is really all i know anyway so that was good so how do you become a good investor? I mean, you can run to the VIPs and you can run to the public sales and get a bit of a deal here and there, but that's just not good enough because they're just going to put you in line with the rest, which is fine because the economy is moving in such a way that, you know, the real estate has to go up because it's a global hedge against all the inflation, the cryptos, the gold, the fiat, the crazy printing of money is happening for so long the quantitative easing or whatever it's called all that stuff okay when you add more money to the economy but it's the same economy the value of the money it just becomes less because you know i used to give you five glass beads for your jar of honey and now i'm giving you 20 glass beads for the same jar of honey clearly it's the same jar of honey and those glass beads that just gave you four times more than I gave you last year, I just cut my value by four. So that's what's happening and that's very, very important to understand. And real estate is a, is a hedge against inflation and you know, something has to be true. You get a key, it's a real place, I love it. It's not quote unquote a piece of paper which really just is a bunch of ones and zeros or some computer that, you know, it can be erased. Uh, for whatever reason, it can be erased, but the real estate cannot be erased. You have a key, you have a door, there's someone in there paying the bills for you. But now I want to get someone that pays the bills for me and my costs are lower and they pay me more and they love the place, they never leave and basically it's, it's a great deal for everyone. It's a great deal for me as an investor because someone else is paying my expenses and I bought a really, really good deal because I work with Yossi or another good real estate agent, it's all good. And you know, for the for the for the person who's leasing the unit for me, uh, residential tenant, commercial tenant, I don't care. Whoever is using the property that I have or buying for me, it's a good deal for them because I bought a great property at a great price. I'm still able to offer them a great price, but I'm making a lot of money because I bought less and all my expenses are lower, and I'm just rising faster. My property is rising faster. It's doing better. So a few things on how to, a few notes on how to do that, okay? First of all, remember when you go to look at a property, open your eyes, no judgment, okay? What I need to do every time I go look at a property, and people call me crazy all these years, and you know, I take it as a compliment. It just means, there as you go, you gotta steer the boat in the right direction. What, what it means, it means that you have to wide, wide open, eyes wide open, open your mind to, and look at the opportunities. So, you know, I used to go west of Bathurst many, many years ago. It wasn't even called King West, but now it's amazing. And I just bought, you know, the cheapest place in the city, basically, that just became the most expensive place. And then, I, you know, now we're doing it in Brantford. And now we're going to Queen East with post lofts and other projects. Okay, so, um, and it doesn't mean that, you know, the busy areas which are so expensive are not good anymore. It just means that for me as a long-term investor, I want to see very high appreciation. I want to really squeeze everything out of it, but I also want a great quality. So there's some areas I won't go to because I don't trust the quality of the building or I don't like the population in that area or whatever it is. You know, I don't like them for who they are. It's just like I'm looking for an areas where there's high growth, okay? Um, high growth, fast growth, and secure growth, the most logical um, 
growth I can find, the quickest growth I can find, that's where I want to go. So if you follow my posts and follow my YouTubes and follow my videos on Facebook and whatnot and Twitters, you'll see that I'm very, very picky about picking properties and I'm very, very picky about what I'm showing you. Why? Because I, most of the stuff I see I don't like for a million reasons, but the stuff I see and I do like, I'll keep posting it and I'll basically tell you guys, this is, this is a great potential, you know. And then your job is to find out, to do the research, to find out what the potential. And once you've done the research or before, call me and let's have a conversation. Why? What about this property? What is the risk here? What is the reward here? Why do you think, you see that this property will appreciate faster? It's a better investment. It's more secure. It's safer. It's going to attract the best tenant. On and on and on. Okay? So that's the message for this video. The message is... It could be a location that you didn't expect. It could be a type of property that you think you didn't think of. It can be something you never heard of, you know. Uh, there's a lot of different investments coming out now that people wouldn't consider them before, but you know, we're looking at them because they have great returns. Um, old age homes. Canada is aging. Canada is old. Uh, I don't know how old it is in relation to the other G7 or 8, but it's or 20, but Canada is old. So we need services for this population. Lots of boomers. We need to service them. All right. They don't want to be in a house. They want to be in a, in a large condo. Maybe not in the center of town. Maybe there's another, uh, other areas that you they like. So maybe I can have one of these properties and one of them can rent from me. These guys are secure. They worked all their lives. They got fat pensions. Sounds good to me for tenants. Okay. So just one example out of very, very many. So there you go, guys. I hope this was uh, helpful. Think about it. Think about when you look at the property, what is the value there? What is the potential there? And what am I not seeing? Always ask yourself, what am I not seeing? Am I missing anything here? Or is this the big picture? Like it? Great. Let's go more for it. Don't like it. Look for something else. All right. So be the hunter and be the gatherer. Been looking for real estate. There you go. Here's my beautiful ride. It's a great day. Let's go. Yossi out.